Hey guys, so what's going on? So I have another video here to share with you guys on how to install Android M developer preview for the Nexus 6 phone, which I have here now. My Nexus 6, my Motorola Nexus 6 phone here is in a fitted case. It is called Unicorn Beetle. So that is the Nexus 6 phone. And I will go in and verify that once we get started here. But what we want to do first is this actually will work for the Nexus 5, the Nexus 9, and the Nexus player as well. So what you want to do is go to Google and type in Android Developer Preview, and that'll kind of get you to the link you need to be at. I've been at it several times. It says here Android Developer. So developer.android.com, click that. Then up here at the top, it'll say develop under the menu, come down to this lower menu, the sub menu here and go to preview. Now there is everything about Android M developer preview and here are your downloads for your images. So click that and there's some documentation here you can download, it's in a zip file. But down here are the files right now currently available for the Nexus 5. As you can see the Nexus 6, now I downloaded this one. It downloads as a .tgz file so what you want to do is download that to your desktop and just give you guys a little idea of what I'm using here is a Windows 8.1 Pro computer, 64-bit operating system, 16 gigs of RAM. So I'm using a Windows computer for this. And once you download that image over here on the desktop, what I do is create a folder because there's different images. So I just create a folder and name it Nexus 6M Preview. And basically when you download, you will get this here. Uh, as a .tgz file. Now I use a program called WinRAR and 7-zip. I use both of them and they are, you know, extraction or uncompressing, whatever, however you want to say it, programs. And what you want to do is right click on that. Of course, some of you probably already know how to do this, but some of you may not. So I'm not sure where everybody's at. I'll just go ahead and go through this. Hopefully you can follow along. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them. Please ask me. Please look in my description below in this video. I will have several links there for helping you out to know where I get the platform tools from and how I do, you know, everything I'm doing if there's any questions or concerns. So basically right click on that and I'm going to choose 7-zip extract here. And that's going to extract that folder or compress files as a new one called .tar. So what you want to do now is uncompress the .tar file if that's what happens to you. So go to the 7-zip or WinRAR, however you're doing it, and also extract those as well. And then you will finally have a working folder here, which you can double click and go in and see all your files for the Android M developer preview. So uh, now what you guys can do, let me just adjust something here, is go ahead in your platform tools, open those platform tools up. And what I do is highlight all the platform tools and simply copy those. Just click copy and I just paste them into this folder here, Nexus 6M Preview. So all my files are in here ready to go now. And I basically, all I need to do at this point is hold down my shift key on the keyboard, either shift key and right click and I'll get a selection here on this dialog that pops up says open command window here you can select that and there's your command window so basically right now we're all ready to go we just have to set the nexus 6 phone up and i'll bring that up here and we can take a look at that so on the nexus 6 phone what you want to do is go ahead go into your basically your all apps here and go to settings and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says about phone you'll see I have an option here it says developer options if you guys do not have that there I'll show you quickly how to get that select about phone and as you can see there is the Nexus 6 Android version 5.1 scroll all the way to the bottom where you see the build number and what you want to do is tap that about seven times and it's telling me uh, it says no need you are already developer you will see it yours will come up and say you are now a developer and you simply select back and you will have developer options listed there then so then what you do is select developer options and you want to turn this little dial on right here that says usb debugging debug mode when usb is connected so turn that on and then you'll be good to go as far as ready to connect your original USB cable to your Nexus 6. So go ahead and connect your cable. And of course, at the top, we should get like a notification showing 
let's just take a look here, a little blurry, uh, USB debugging connected and all that good stuff. So you're good there. And the other thing you want to check, guys, is I'll minimize this. We'll take a look at my PC real quick. I'm not sure what icon you're seeing. If you're using like a Windows 7 computer, it might just say computer up here. But you want to right click your computer icon, go to properties and check in your device manager here um, under portable devices right here. Now, you will see mine says Nexus 6. Yours should just, you know, look like mine, whether you're using whatever you're using as far as your device. If it doesn't and you have a yellow, say, triangle there, I have a video again in the description showing how to correct that issue. So you have to have that fixed and the Google USB driver installed for this to work. Now, basically, at this point, guys, what you want to do is just type in ADB space devices, hit enter. And it says it has started successfully list of devices attached. Now, mine is okay and ready to go, but I'm going to bring the phone up for a minute. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in because I'm hoping I, let me just see if I can get this thing to pop up real quick. Let me run ADB space devices again. Nope, I'm still good. But at this point, if you guys get a prompt or it says unauthorized here, you might get a prompt on your, actually it'll say RSA key, which is like another layer of security. And what you want to do is tell it okay. So, you know, it allows your device to connect to the computer. So if you get a prompt there, RSA key, select it, tell it okay. And then make sure you come back over to your command window and type in ADB space devices a second time to make sure it looks like mine here. So it just shows your serial number to the device and basically it does not say unauthorized and it just looks like mine, you're all good to go. So what you wanna do now guys is at this point you can type in ADB space reboot space bootloader and I'm going to bring up the phone and I'm going to click enter. And what that's going to do is reboot us into fast boot mode. And once you're in fast boot mode here, you'll see down here mine shows devices unlocked. I've already unlocked mine. If you guys need to unlock yours, you simply uh, need to type in a command here. You, you need to be in an unlocked status. You cannot flash this device without it being unlocked. And yes, this is possibly going to void your warranty, guys. And yes, it will wipe out all your user data on the phone. So make sure before you do this that you are completely like backed up. You have all your files, pictures, music, contacts, notes, whatever you got on there backed up and saved. So I'm just going to show you the command. If you guys are showing a locked status, type in fast boot. Type in fast boot OEM unlock. Okay, so fast boot space OEM space unlock and hit enter. And that will actually change. I'll bring it up on the screen. That's going to change your status down here, guys, to unlocked. And that actually will format your phone and delete your user data right there and then. So basically, since I'm already in an unlocked state, I'm going to close out of this and just kind of open it up, a, open up a new one. Hold the left shift key down the keyboard or the right one and select the open command window here. Basically, right now, guys, all I need to do with my phone unlocked, ready to go, everything backed up, is I can type into this flash dash all dot bat or I can just simply double click the file over here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just double click that and show you quickly let me let me minimize this and you're gonna see what it's doing is it's going through and starting the process oh okay so this is what a lot of people are running into. It goes so far, and you'll notice down here at the bottom in the command window, it says error update package missing system dot IMG. So what we need to do here is flash everything basically one by one. So we're gonna do a couple of things different here. I'm gonna close out of that. What we wanna do now is open up basically a new command window to fix this problem and open that up. And now what you want to do, guys, is basically what we're going to do is flash everything one by one. So how you do this is go ahead and type in fast boot space flash space boot loader. And then what you want to do, once you have that typed in and make sure you're using the spaces there, guys, come down here where it shows your boot loader, the actual image, 
and make sure after you type in bootloader there you press space and you just want to type all of that in so type in bootloader and it has to be exactly right make sure you're using the dashes and everything else dash shamu dash moto and there's really no hurry here you want to make sure you take your time with this unless you can just fly through it but i want to make sure everything is exactly right so again i'm just typing that in exactly as you see it there dot one one and then make sure you put the extension on the end dot img now what that will do is go ahead and hit enter that's going to flash the bootloader okay now the next one you want to go to is the radio if you have one so let me bring this up fast boot space flash radio and make sure you put another space and then what you want to do is find the file called the radio image file right here that file so now what i'm going to do is type all of that into the command window here so type in radio space well not space put a dash dash shamu it's been a little while since i did this put another dash and then looks like it is a capital d 4.01.4.01-9625-05.16 and it looks like there's a plus symbol in there so you got to put the plus and then capital f s g dash 9625 9625-02.94.img and then go ahead and hit enter and that should go down through as you can see and flash the radio now once you do the bootloader and radio you want to make sure you guys reboot the bootloader so type this in first so type in a fast boot space reboot dash bootloader and you'll see the phone shut off it basically we're just giving the phone a reboot okay and then basically you can do the rest of the image files at this point the same way i'm showing you guys so basically at this point what you want to do now is like say the next one is the recovery so you type in fast boot I recommend doing these all, all uh, as well, guys. So fast boot flash recovery space, and then just come over and find where it says down here. It says recovery.img. Just type in recovery.img. Hit enter, and you'll see it went through and it, it took care of that. So the next one's going to be the boot image. So again, fast boot space flash and another. Space space there and then boot and then space and then boot.img and I'll show you over here wherever it's at right there boot.img then hit enter and that'll do the boot image and then guys you want to do the system image so fast boot space flash system space system.img and then hit enter and that's going to flash the system onto the phone so we have this up now now we want to type in fast boot space flash cache space cache dot img that's going to do the cache and again let me move this up a little bit now we want to do fast boot space flash and it should be user data user data and then user user data hold on just a second here so user data space user data dot img and hit enter all right that's it i'm going to type exit guys now we should be able to go through and reboot our phone that little lock down there is because i'm unlocked so if you see that little lock down there at the bottom guys you'll know that you have an unlocked bootloader also that AT&T boot up thingy is kind of annoying too. I'm going to I might do a video on how to get rid of that, but for now we'll just go through and do this. All right, there is the Android logo popping up and let's see what happens here. So welcome. Okay guys, so we're booted back up here to the home screen. I'm going to go into settings and we're just going to quickly go down through and verify that we are running Android M or Android version M. Model number Nexus 6. 
So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please share this video and like this video. That would be great. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks a lot guys. You guys have a wonderful day.